We got this cardboard box that you can't see. It has the secrets apparently to cooling. So I got this about a year ago probably because I was overclocking my Steam Deck and I wanted lower temps. This is like the only way without like whatever it's called melt push out thermal paste push out because that thing just has issues if you use like normal thermal paste. So I was like, okay, I'll buy it. Bought it. Works fine on my Steam Deck. It still works good. I still use it to this day. Yeah, it's great. Um, Never had an issue with it. Seemed fine. And now all these people are like, and now like I've had my, G the 49 is almost two years old. I just want to test it. I mean, I've, the last time I repaced my GP was back in like aug early August. So I was like, hey, let's just test it out. Yeah, we're going to run uh 3d mark and then we'll tear it down basically we seem to get it before with kpx replace it with the ptm 7950 show you how to install it and then we're good yeah i'm on xoc bios of course why would i not be on the xoc bios 550 watts the thing is it only down clocks what 15 megahertz because i'm setting it three gigahertz 66 degrees 67 this is auto fan speed all right let's see what our result is 26255 so we're above average probably if i had a hypothetical it'd be a little higher it's just typical or it's looking at graphic score so let me grab this before um let's see max where is it where my mac where are my temperatures GPU 70 edge <laughs> edge 87.3 26 watts max there you go let me take the card out. I might have to pull the whole PC out to take the card out because of how tight it is. You can always cut more off. All right, so you just have to literally peel it off like this, stick it on the GPU. Nice, all right. So there's plastic on both sides. There always is going to be. So now I just have to Yep, it's fully covered. Push it down. Massage it in, you have plastic on it, so you're fine. I will take a picture real quick and then I'll put it on the screen for you guys, for YouTube. All right, guys. Let's spread it around. Fingers like sweaty, dude. So now I do have to put the GPU back. Let's open up some 3D Mark, open up some Afterburner. The NC Delta seems fine for this. I'm not worried about that at all. All right, let's run Firestrike Ultra though. 30 dude this is why amd has so many issues 30 c delta yeah i guess steel nomad is the new tested i don't really know what it does that's one thing i didn't like i think on the 6900 x it was like a 20 c delta even with liquid metal i don't get that at all why you gotta do that all right let's see what we're looking at this is the hottest no test normally 60 uh this looks a little worse maybe <sighs> let's give it some time you have to let it melt first all right all right that's what we'll do all right, here's what we're doing. We're going to run this one normally. Then we're going to wait 10 minutes and see. All right, let's just see. 72.5 edge. 87.9. 26.699. So it's faster, but. And 5.74. So basically the same thing. We'll give it 10 minutes. 800 watts, 860.
All right, been 10 minutes. Let's run this again. I'm so glad we got to do some fun shenanigans in between this. As in burning up my GPU. I hope it's good. It'd be nice if it was. But... Eh. If not, I'll just throw it off tomorrow and throw KPX on. Yo. Yo. Okay, this kind of crazy. No, wait, actually, you guys might be onto something. 60C at this temperature is that like, think, what is this, a 10 degree drop? Hold up. Hold up. You might be onto something. Yeah, actually, this is insane. Bro. <laughs> This is crazy. Bro, I'm about to drop. Bro, affiliate link in the description or something. Bro, I thought you guys were like overhyping this for no reason. Bro, this is actually kind of crazy. Can I XOC now? No, this is awesome, dude. That's a pretty good improvement, actually. What's the max power draw? 552. Because it just lowered it. I don't think this would do well on direct eye. Dude, look at this though. The edge. The edge temp. The edge temp literally used to be the, the highest GPU temp. That's actually crazy. You have a 10, 11C delta versus 17 and like 14. How much is this stuff? Dude, for $17, this is cheaper than KPX, cheaper than Cryonaut. Well, I guess Cryonaut's $8, but like, that's barely enough for your CPU at this point. Yeah, no, no, no. Why would you not get this? And plus you get the, uh, <laughs> whatever these are. I don't know what these are, but I guess they help you apply it. There's not one really for your thumb. If you have a GPU and it's running hot, just do it. It's worth it. There's a reason NVIDIA uses these on the 4090 FE. It just works, dude. It's awesome. Works fine on my rig.